what is physical plant? So, physical plant is also known as a responsible for the repair, maintenance, and operation of all buildings and grounds. Its staff keeps all operating system and good repair and makes the campus a comfortable, safe, and an attractive place to learn, live, work, and play. Physical plant is committed to providing high quality service that result in clean, well maintained, and ground areas. These are the responsible for the repair, maintenance, and operation of all buildings and grounds designed in our school or any kind of buildings. What we call like a physical properties of a school, consisting of the grounds, the various facilities within the school grounds and inside the school buildings, so that we can beautify the school site with ornamental plants requires the repair, the prior preparation of a planting plan, size and spacing of a school design and patterns of school plan. There are two basic principles on physical plan and facilities. The first is the primary function of educational facilities, which means that it provides the proper school environment that is most conductive to effective teaching and learning. The facilities and grounds on any campus directly impacts the real and perceived quality of everyone's academic and personal experience so that we can fulfill our important mission in life. And the second is functional and effective educational facilities is what we call a it is developed, operated, and managed on the basic of comprehensive plan of action of the school. It will strive to support the academic mission of university in an efficient and professional manner to ensure building safety and comfort. Physical plant is necessary infras infrastructure use in the support and maintenance of given facility for the renovation of their location, floor space, equipment, and areas and rooms. Good day everyone. So now let's proceed about the facilities of physical plants. So the physical facilities consist of all the buildings, grounds, equipment, and infrastructure required to create their product. Product quality and profitability are directly affected by the condition of the physical surroundings, equipment, and work areas regardless of the size or scales of your manufacturing operations. So, Today, let's proceed or specifically talk about the, phys mm, the physical facilities or the facilities of physical plant in, in the school. So, the term school facilities refers to the school site, the buildings, the playgrounds, the equipment, and other material resource resources provided in the school for effective teaching and learning operations. So the physical means it is a permanent or semi-permanent or temporary commercial or industrial property such as a building, plant or structure built, established or installed for the performance of one or more specific activities or functions such as in the school, um, a library or um, and the hospital, uh, an emergency room, the hotel, the lunch. So now let's proceed or let's topic about the facilities of in the school. 
inside the school, there are um, the location is the Campus Medical and Dental Clinic, Classroom Offices, Staff and Function Rooms. So these are the some of the facilities inside the school at Student Center Food Services Unit or what we call a canton. Now um, let's proceed about the modes of acquisition of school site. Um, first one is the purchase. So purchase is a direct purchase from the legal owner who voluntarily um, sells it on uh, agreed price. So it is um, where the capital outlays of the department, the local school board fund the operation by the LGU. This is the source of funds. So if a school site is purchased using the capital, using the capital outlays of the deep ed, the deep ed of sale should be executed in favor of the Republic of the Philippines. So the Department of Education authority to purchase should be sought from the President of the Philippines except when the funds are appropriated or components of the school budget in which and it is the case that the, the Deep Ed grants the authority. Then, then the conditional donation can be defined as donation that can only occur or under under certain prescribed condition. It the term is that conditional in this context context contains a threat that should this condition not be met or the donation will not be permitted to continue and next is the intervivus donation so this donation of real property must be evidenced by a public document and should be accepted by the done in the same deed of donation or in a separate instrument in the latter case and the door should be notified of the acceptance in an authentic form and the step should be noted in both instruments so next is the expropriation so expropriation is the governmental seizure of property or a change to existing private property sites usually for uh, um, the public benefits like and um, the there's a project about in the road property and a private property. The major reason for building a school is to implement an educational program. A smooth implementation of an educational program can only occur in the chances of actualizing its goals enhanced if the school plan possesses some desirability qualities or standards. These are the objectives that should be achieved when planning and constructing school plans. Number one, spatial adequacy and desirability. One very important objective of school plan planning that is directly related to the implementation of the educational program is the provision of adequate and appropriately organized spaces to facilitate and support teaching and learning activities. 2. Health and safety. Ensuring the safety, security, and good health of the learner as well as other staff of the school is another objective that only school plan planner should accomplish. Number 3. An adaptability. School buildings are expensive to construct and are usually intended for long-term use. Number four, aesthetics. Such attractive-looking schools and beautiful surroundings are also a source of pride to the members of the local com community of the school. Number five, durability. Owing to the expected long lifespan of school buildings and high construction costs, durability is one of the objectives to be sought 
when planning and constructing them. The quality of school facilities influences citizen perception of schools, which in return influences the support for public education. Involvement in the planning of new facility, the support of the people within, one, teachers, recognize that buildings maintenance supports students' learning. Number two, students see the school buildings as their learning environment. Number three, parents and the school community recognize that the school buildings are the training grounds for, for the future citizens. The elementary school site has standards and requirements. The school should provide a beautiful surroundings because with well-designed buildings and other structures may not only stimulate pupils' interest in schooling and operation of creative arts. It is also important to ensure the safety features such as fire alarm systems, firefighting equipment, and emergency access should be provided. Learning takes place effectively in an environment in which the learner feels safe and secure. Toilet and other sanitation facilities to meet the needs of students and school administrators mo must ensure proper maintenance of school plan in order to facilitate effective teaching process. School plan maintenance refers to the keeping of school site, building, and equipment in as near the original state of utility as possible. Thank you for your participation today. We genuinely appreciate it and we hope you learned something.